Welcome to Heavenly Gifts News. I am Donna Valguez, and here are the top stories of the month. Pope Francis is renewing calls for an end to the war in Ukraine, emphasizing its impact on children. In a tweet on Saturday, he wrote, Never war. Think first about the children, about those who are deprived of the hope for a dignified life. Dead or wounded children, orphans, children who play with the remnants of war. Pope added, in the name of God, stop. Early on Sunday, Pope Francis made a heartfelt plea for an end to the fighting in Ukraine that has left what he called rivers of blood and tears flowing in the country. The Russian invasion of Ukraine is the largest European war since World War II. St. George proposed mission has been taking the first steps to welcome a new youth group. Under the able leadership of the parish priest, Father Joseph Mukata, this initiative aims to bring the young members of the parish together and grow together to the totality of Christ. It will help to develop the faith towards the church and Christian values. The activities of the group will include occasional study days, campfire nights, and day trips, etc. Those interested may please contact the parish priest or ward leaders. Father Mugata also urged for all new members of the Mass Centre to get registered as he hopes to develop this community as a new platform where members share job vacancies and similar opportunities. Father, a new initiative by Father Bob, parish priest of St. Michael's Church, East Ham, called attention of masses through his very thoughtful and interesting Lenten giving calendar. It didn't ask us to give much, but share simple little things, things we consider to be necessities in our everyday life, things that we may think we cannot live without from toothbrush to laundry powder, anything non-perishable was collected on each day of Lent, ready to be donated to local food banks in time for Easter week. This form of almsgiving encouraged all, especially the children of the church, to see the beauty of giving and the deep joy that can be found in giving. The Lenten giving calendar was a journey throughout Lent, a meaningful process starting from the beginning of March up to the week of Easter, a journey of sharing that opened hearts to rejoice more at giving than receiving. It was a new and great initiative introduced by Father Bob, which many eagerly took part in throughout this season of Lent. That's all for this week's news. Hope you all have a great week. Thank you very much.